So today I'm doing this beautiful, summery, bronzy, glowy look for you guys. This is hot fire. I love it. I feel like I need to be on an island in the Caribbean just chilling at a pool party. Not even a pool party, a beach party. You know, like I really love this look. So hopefully you guys enjoy it as well. If you do, give me a thumbs up and just keep watching to see how I achieved this whole look using only drugstore makeup. All right, so I'm starting out with some kombucha. Shout out to Jackie Aina. I'm gonna use the CoverGirl Skin Smoothing Primer. This is one of my favorite drugstore primers. Whoa! That was a lot. Ooh, my hands are nice and cold from that bottle. Oh, this feels amazing. Oh, maybe I should stop putting primer in my skin fridge. I'm gonna actually do my concealer under my makeup today. I was watching um, JLo's makeup artist on Tati and he did everything under the makeup, so I wanna try that out. Let's see what that looks like. So we're gonna do concealer. I'm using the same concealer. I actually forgot what he did next, so I'm gonna go watch the video real quick on my iPad. So he actually blended out the concealer first, so I already messed up, but we're just gonna go ahead and blend this out using the sponge. I actually really like this concealer. It's really nice coverage, and it blends out so well. It has like, it looks like a high-end concealer. Like, it's really, really good stuff. Um, let's just blend that out completely. So I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation in 515 now. I'm just gonna put this everywhere on my face. Just blend it in over the contour. I think I did this completely wrong but whatever yeah I'm just kind of doing my own thing now because I already messed up what I was trying to do so I'm using this little blending brush for makeup geek I'm just gonna blend out this Ooh, I definitely put way too much I'm gonna blend this out though I'm gonna add some concealer here. Just gonna blend that in better. And I still have to apply foundations. For foundation, I'm gonna use this foundation and just apply it. Oh, this looks really good. I actually really like this method to just take longer. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me in medium deep 30 to set my under eye. I don't really have a favorite drugstore um, powder. I forgot how good this powder was. I actually really like this powder. Carve up my cheeks, you know, let's get snatched, you know? Yeah, boom, 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 boom. 
So I'm gonna do a little bit of bronzer. I'm using the Morphe Glamour Bronze in Phenom. Definitely one of my favorites for bronzer. I'm taking this brush and I'm just gonna apply this to bronze. I really like this bronzer and it's affordable. So that's amazing. I'm gonna take the Maybelline Super Stay Powder in um what is this 355 coconut you don't need to do this but if you want extra coverage you can I'm just gonna go right under here with this powder and just kind of shape up my face a little more this is foundation powder so it is gonna give you some more coverage and um it's gonna make your makeup a lot more long wearing so for blush i'm gonna use this covergirl full spectrum blush right here called I don't know what this is called, but I love this blush. It's so pretty. I'm gonna dab a little bit of this on my cheek. Like right here. This brush does have a sheen to it, so it's really gonna give you a nice glow. Whoa, this is so pretty. Actually, I'm not mad at that. One, this is the Tammy and Makeup Revolution. So she's a YouTuber, really love her, gorgeous. So she developed this, this is her second palette with Makeup Revolution. It's beautiful, bright for the summertime. I want this look to be really nice and bronzy. So I'm gonna go with these colors up here for the shimmers and then I'm gonna use the orange. So I'm starting with the orange. I didn't do my brows. I'm gonna use the CoverGirl uh, Soft Brown Pencil for my brows. So I'm going to take the orange shade and just blend that into my crease. This is such a pretty color. Like she really picked some beautiful colors for this palette. I love this color so much. I love orange. You guys probably know this already, but when it comes to makeup, orange is one of my favorites, especially for like... Uh, a nice orange lip color. Oh my gosh, love, love, love. It's just giving such bronzy, like glowy summer vibes. So for the eyelid, I am looking at these two colors right here. Gorgeous colors, but I haven't used like a spice rum. Oh, this is so pretty. I feel like I'm gonna go, oh, I don't know. We are going glow, okay, we're gonna do both. We're gonna do both, that's what we're gonna do. Taking a flat brush, I'm just gonna press that right into the first part of my lid. And you really don't even need any like fix plus. I didn't even put an eye primer on, but this color is extra popping, y'all. And the color, the pigment is whoa. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do the other side. This is so pretty. And there's really not a lot of fallout, but if you want zero fallout, then you can use a, a liquid spray to make it stick together more. Then I'm going to go in with Spiced Rum and put that on the outer part. Like right here. Oh, this is pretty. I feel like this is perfect if you're going out on a summer night, you know, vacation vibes. If you, you know, on the beach, at a beach party. You know what I mean? I've been really like sleeping hard on Makeup Revolution, y'all. Like really sleeping. I've, I have some products, but I really don't get as much as I should from them. I guess because it's a UK brand, it's not as popular in the US, but I need to go to Ulta right now and get some more stuff because these products, this eyeshadow, these eyeshadows are really good. I'm feeling this look. For the under eye, lower lash line area, I'm taking the same orange shade and I'm just gonna put that right in here. I'm done with the eyeshadow palette. I love this, oh my gosh, Tropical Carnival. It's definitely a Tropical Carnival up in here. So I'm gonna do some highlighting because we wanna make this nice and glowy. I'm using the NYX Born to Glow in Warm Strobe. Love this stuff. And I'll just open this up. And just highlight my cheekbones. I 
I'm gonna blend this into everything. Yes. Uh, taking this same highlight, I'm gonna use some of this right in my inner corner. Just pop that right in there. I like having a nice glowy inner corner. It looks just gorgeous. And we're gonna stick some on the nose. Get nice and snatched, you know. Add some right here. For mascara, I'm using the Rimmel Scandalize Wings. This is a new mascara from Rimmel. And I use this. I like it. I actually, I tried it out during the week and I really liked it. So for my lips, I'm going to try this um, Flower Beauty Fantastic Pop Vinyl Lip. Ooh. This lip color, oh my gosh, this is so dimensional. Ooh. This is so glossy and shiny. I am here for this. I'm all here for it. 125% here for this. Okay, so we're going to do some lashes. I got these Ardell 70, 70. Can I talk? I got these Ardell 778 lashes. All right, so just pop those lashes on. I actually really like these lashes. They're really natural, but they give you a lot of drama. Like, I really love it. So, mm. Like, I'm trying to go on a vacation right now, like. All right, so I'm gonna just take some dry oil. This is Hawaiian Tropic Dry Oil and finish off my shoulders. Whoa! It just adds a nice sheen to your body and it smells really good too. Mm. Ooh. I love the way this looks. This is SPF 30. I also have this one which I saw in um, Tati's video. This is SPF 100. But it also gives you a really nice sheen. So let's just try this on here. Just wanted to show you guys the sunscreens. I'm gonna finish off this glowy look with the Continuous Mist from Morphe. I'm gonna avoid the sun on my face though. My T-zone does get oily, so I don't like to put too much setting spray on my T-zone unless it's an oil controlling setting spray. Mm -hmm. 